Kathy Vick, Deeply Awake. Well, if I ever get to the place where I have subscribers who pay, then, man oh man, I got more goodies for you. I can give you really long videos and lots of other information, but I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I think that makes sense. I know I need a webmaster. <laughs> Web page master. <laughs> When I call that person, when I finally find that person, <laughs> you better believe every phone call is going to start with, hello, master, <laughs> and um, probably end with, as you, whatever you say, master, <laughs> just like, ew, <laughs> I don't know, um, but, I know that there's like mastery and masterhood and all that and ascension, but it's like, ugh, I don't, I, mm. yeah, you, call, call, you call me anything but that. And it's not because of this the slave master thing. It's not because of the domination submission thing. It's um, more got to do with um, just knee jerk authority. <laughs> Ew, I don't think so. But anyway, yeah, so if I can make a joke out of it, you bet I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, wouldn't that be lovely? Because I just did, like, I don't know, over an hour. And it was so indulgent. <laughs> all about human design. Saying yes and no. And all kinds of other stuff. It's intense. But, um, not for the GP. And not even for the G the the cool part of the GP. But for the paying part of the GP, perhaps. So, an idea. Yeah, I've had a few of those ideas. And now it, it, it dawned on me today. I've been doing this one gig now for, I don't know, be three months pretty soon. And um, I knew it would happen. I mean, out of sight, out of mind. Oh, you mean my other business? You gigging? What? So, um, it's finally coming back. I mean, I, I, I tend to, um, I need to feel okay with putting up my shingle. And, um, I, the, the, uh, tie-dye, uh, clad I, did not feel com comfortable or confident. I do now. Things have changed, but I didn't before, um, and I felt weird. So of course it wouldn't, you know, come into full bloom. So this morning, I'm sitting there at the side of my bed, going, um, "Well, of course there's a way out. <laughs> of course there's a way out. What are you talking about?" Because I was like really struck last night with. Uh, look at these two worlds and I feel so much better in this world I've created for myself and sought out and that I know so well and I feel so good in and I'm so understood there and I'm so, oh god <laughs> and um and then I have to do what I do and uh reconciling those two has been a big deal. Getting to the place where, and so I'm doing my thing today at work and looking at, looking idly at something as I'm doing something mechanical. And they come through and say, so, hmm, here we are. How mundane will this day be? How mundane would you like this day to be? It's up to you, you know. And it was anything but mundane. It was very good, um, but there's a there's a very weird uh, energetic separation going on, where I really, really can step away and let other people be uncomfortable, and I'm really not not willing to have them project their shit onto me, and if they do, it just sort of slides off. It's just no, no. I'd, I'll be over here doing my thing. And I'm, I'm valuable, and uh, I I know that you're not. You you know I I know you think I'm not valuable, but I know 
I am valuable. So I'm going to behave that way, even though you are still pooping all over me. Okay, thanks. And it worked out really good. There was very little poop. Weird. So that's good. Enough out of me. Hmm. Hmm. Peace. She had an hour earlier. She got a toll out of her system. So, the last time we talked, we talked about the yes. Do you recall? The last uh, channel we said yes in response to something that was uh, not a yes no question and indicated that uh, yes, this word, yes, it is uh, said too much these days. So today we talk about the no. We gave her a glimmer in the car what we had to say about this. And uh, it has to do with uh, the uh, male-female agreement on this planet that's passed away. And is uh, being lived out now simply because of uh, the morphogenic fields in place. They themselves are adjusting and muffing accordingly. But we would say no and yes. It's about as binary as you can get, isn't it? Yes. Binary. Male, female. Black, white. We could say good, evil, but uh, when we do that, then you know we are introducing paradox. Within each duarete, that is the punchline of unity. Within each push, pull, end is unity. A magnet in a stick, let's say. The one end attracts, the other repels. And they present unified. Do you understand? So, yes and no. We have been counseling this one, yes, uh, for several days, but this last day was, uh, yes, we put the, she has the uh, visualization uh, written about it uh, early on. Uh, she sees the uh, the speaker from uh, the show MASH. There's a speaker on a pole. And uh, strip the uh, the wartime uh, images. You got a stick, and you got a big speaker. We were like that today, and we said. What we say to you now? Hmm. First, hmm. we go deeper now. So, to understand. 
yes and no one must understand self look you at the things in your life that you argue against oh well i don't do that really please provide a list of the things you don't like got it oh we need more time we include two of the things that you are angry about include all those things you are heartbroken or disappointed about include the things to end your list <coughs> yes of those things you know in your heart of hearts you must have to be okay yeah is it your car your spouse your home the intellect the people think highly of you that you are after all good at your job these dear ones are attachments see them as such they need not be stripped understand this is an important part of the work you you are not your profession your job your bank account the status or health or happiness of your spouse your lover children your family your friends your community your state your nation your globe imagine knowing yourself and loving yourself so completely that to speak falsely for yourself become something that uh, you not only don't want to do but find you are uh, simply cannot do imagine that would you be a direct person could you given the metric we've given you also find a way to be a kind and gentle person But this is a major conflict with many and with many women If you want to dumb it down yes well the genitals of the ones who are currently in charge in consciousness for the moment have genitals which are 
uh, they shoot, they explore, and they are attached to human beings who have a natural desire to be within, to be connected to others. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That's the point. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. But given the energy coursing through the Kali Yuga well, of course, we would see guns, missiles, projectiles. Of course. And uh, if there were a magnifying energy and the ladies were in charge, well then, imagine the chaos. <laughs> Some lived through such chaos. Do you think the men are in charge? By accident? No. Do you think the men are in charge to create imbalance? Again, no. They took on a huge karmic load and they will need love, support, care, tenderness and instruction. with encouragement as they themselves come to terms with how this is played out. But when you look at the biology and how the consciousness itself is positioned, there are those who have both the capacity and willingness to rape and those who are raped. We tell you rape is about abuse of power. It is a karmic insult. demonstrates grave, profound misunderstandings. Oh. And the ones who have been under the shadow who have played victim to the perpetrator's role they have learned no doesn't count for much around here given who is in charge when you know is not a gold standard when consent. Well, it's a detail. It gets in the way of achieving goals. <laughs> well then, what fun will be had? And as the Kali Yuga becomes more and more a bad dream, a memory, the females, they begin to understand.
understand. It's suddenly safe to speak. Suddenly, the things that used to happen when they spoke aren't happening no more. Not so bad. And when it is bad, when? Funny. <laughs> they seem to wind up round up anyway. So, with the energy changing, with both males and females becoming more aware of themselves and their beauty and magnificence, and the inappropriateness of abusing power. Balance is achieved. What the males do, they do. To right energetic patterns that require this. Judge not your brothers. Love them. But do so in full possession of your willingness, your ability to say no. A woman knows withholding what they possess may lead to harm to the other. They offer balm, healing, yes. And knowing this, it's very hard to quit someone. It is. And often, the Mina or More negligent or whatever, that the person becomes, well, oh, if I love them more, I'll just love them more. They need more love. They wouldn't behave this way. If they, if they really knew love, one day they will know love. It will all gel for them. Won't that be a beautiful day for me? And for them. And for us. Hmm. This is simply, it's simply not only females who do this. But more, more females than males. How about this? How about coming to terms with what it is that uh, you have in front of you? Which you want to say no to, but uh, refuse to do so. And instead, because of this great conflict, yes, 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 is said to so many other problems. Oh, it's like a smorgasbord of conflict. Whereas, a no. 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 Whether it hurts you or not, the answer is no. And the PS is I love you. And no. I love you, but no. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the person hearing this would be able to say, Ha, ah, I know you love me. Can tell. And I heard your no. Thank you for taking care of yourself so well. One day, dear ones, one day, business will be conducted like this. <laughs> Marriages will be conducted like this. Healthcare. Can you 
imagine. Oh, well, we can't have that. It would be chaos. It would be anarchy. Bunny. <laughs> you must be thinking of this animal uh, that uh, was once called human. These are different times. If each... If each a bit more common sense a bit more of the heart influencing the vehicles just a little bit soften enough to change things quite dramatically yes so there was an agreement where a group of individuals uh, really didn't have a whole lot of say in la la la. Oh my, oh my. Well, that's a very nice mythology. Some would say it's not mythology, it's simply a statement of fact of how it is around here. Fine. Perpetuate it or not, it's up to you. Uh, clocking it, that's fine. But then saying, you know, hey, I'm not in that uh, drama no more. And uh, I don't think that I need to uh, dramatize this further. I think instead I'll practice saying no and yes. And uh, let's make them experiences where the no's allow my life to bloom. as well as my self-esteem. And where my guesses would place me into gardens of satisfaction, of beauty, of delight, of rest, of homecoming. You know, tonight, oh my goodness, we could go on and on and on. Oh, it feels so good to run this energy. Oh, there's so few restrictions internally. Things have changed. Mm -hmm. Yes, many things are changing. And it's so nice to be able to work cooperatively and quickly. We will uh, release the Kraken uh, for words of thanks. It uh, is a fitting way to end. Mm. So, I just, I really do want to say thank you. And that's one of the reasons I don't want to um, publish the video I did before. Because I, I heard complaining. And I don't know, hopefully there's not a lot of complaining in that first five minutes. You know, at Easter time in um, 2014, I'd, I'd like to... Um, do Easter sometimes. I did like to do Lent. But um, I give up um, things that, um, well, they're not dietary. Um, and in 14, I decided that during Lent, what I would do is I would give up idle complaining. Let's try it on for size. And, uh, wow, <laughs> that's the trick. I, there's this maxim I really, really like. Never complain, never explain. But I've since changed that. It's just never complain. <laughs> Always explain. If asked. Because it's fun. Not to justify. That's the idea. Never complain, never justify. I agree with that. It puts you in a very weak position when you're in a power situations. And uh, further, it is um, really unpleasant to be around. Having uh, become a practitioner of, um, I don't know, what's the opposite of not complaining? I 
don't know, but uh, what you'll find in my parlance is the distinct absence of words like I hate, blah, 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 blah. And, um, well, once in a while it's I'm so mad at. <laughs> okay, okay, I cop to it. Um, but yeah, I don't say I hate. I'm so mad at blah, blah. Uh, uh, usually doesn't take more than a couple of complaints to make you realize that yeah because this is what's been coming over and over and over again it's just kind of unrelenting um, like a, a speaker on a pole kind of that loud. This idea that um, if I'm in an argument with something or someone, if I don't like or really hate or really, really, really freaking can't stand or I want to throttle or any of those things, so and so or this situation or whatever. What I have come to understand is how very att attached I am to that. More attached to it in a way than if I were to say, oh my God, oh, he's so beautiful, or she's so stunning, or that's so incredible. Yes, there's an expansive sort of celebratory joy in recognition and love, yes. It has a much different feel than the other stuff. And that's what I'm realizing is that if I if I'm if I'm not liking something and I'm electing to discuss what I don't like, well, 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 well. Not only have I chosen something to focus my energy on, but I'm using energy that is intense and repulsive, or repellent, and um, kind of like a projectile. And it's got to do with not liking the thing that's in front of me. Whether that's Trump, or Hillary, or uh, whatever. And I would say, or the, your favorite football team, and the degree that you don't like something. And I'm not saying hate. I'm just saying not liking. I don't like, and I wonder sometimes I'm driving with people or whatever, and I hear, I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like that. Why are you going out of your way to tell me the things you don't like? You're telling me that you want to dismiss this thing, the very thing that you just brought up randomly. No, far from dismissing it, you're totally attached to it. And you're petting it on your lap and you're petting it and it's purring <laughs> so complaining not liking really really just arguing with something or um, being despondent that you've got to do something or um, not wanting to do something that's attachment. It's all attachment. So that means that what I'm getting, what I'm there, what they're teaching me is, if things are really neutral, if things really are neutral, first of all, what am I noticing? And what eyes am I using to notice them? Is it eyes of appreciation? And I don't know learning and wonder and <laughs> joking, irreverence? Or is it looking at something and not liking it? And then explaining why and justifying that. Hmm. Well, there's 
there's something else. There's something more, something simpler. There's yes and no. There's just simply saying no. That's not for me. It doesn't feel right. No, I think I'll pass, but thank you. Uh, yeah, I really don't, I'm, I don't really resonate with uh, politics right now. I don't really tell me what you know. That kind of thing. Different way. It's a different way. It's different and it feels good. So, that's my take on it, but I really just want to say thank you. I had a I had a weekend of such love and welcome and safety and um, busyness and friendship and connection and weirdness and more connection and love. realize that there are some things I'm not going to really like. Those are the things you say no to and you dismiss and you don't think about anymore. Yes, no. Train track. Right or left. Keep going. It's all the same thing. Just, you know, don't attach to it. Just say yes or no. Or, if your yes and your no is broken and you think you got to say yes to everything, then you'll say yes to everything, Kathy. And argue with it. And kill the things that you really would like to say no to, but you just don't have the balls to do it directly. And I, it's such a destructive thing. I've killed things that I didn't want to kill. Just by complaining. <laughs> Thinking that was somehow going to help. <laughs> so, um, yes and no. Big deal. And I said yes and yes and yes. And I'm so blessed. And that's just this weekend. And I've got lots of other people all around me who I know hold me in their hearts. And they love me and I love them. And it's good. So, yeah, I had had some very, very, very um, narrow definitions of love. And um, I didn't, uh, I just didn't know then what I know now. I didn't feel comfortable as I know now, as I am now. And I mean, it, it wasn't like, you know, I, I met my soulmate. Nope. Nope. It hasn't shown up. <laughs> but, so what? So what? To, for me, I mean, I've done a little bit of research, and um, I'm really okay with how I'm built now. Um, I did the human design thing, because I'd been kind of um, pushing against it, and I did it. <laughs> so, whoa! I'm ready, finally. Okay, there it is. And um, <laughs> it helped me to understand a lot, and as these systems always do when you're ready for them. Anytime there can be uh, amplification of self-definition that uh, shuts the noise down and makes a person feel uh, that their beingness is more clear and uh, their place here is more understood and somehow justified to them. It's not a bad thing. And... Um, and it, it, it feels really good for me to understand that, um, yeah, no is something that I'm not really um, all that great at uh, saying or wanting to say. But still, 
it winds up really being about um, well, it, beca it, it really is about love in all its forms. There's so much, so many different varieties. But yeah, for me, soulmate kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I got my astrology thingy that says, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. And then human design, <laughs> even louder. Uh, excuse us. Would you like a cross to bear? Oh, you would? Well, here's yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and some some of the initiate crosses are just, wow. They're all about other things, but mine's about, I think they actually mention Sleepless in Seattle and syrupy rom-coms. <laughs> so, yeah, I got love on the brain. And I'm a hermit. So, <laughs> Yeah. Conflict. Would We would like to serve up some conflict. But again, I mean, the same conflict as being a Pisces and having a Virgo ascendant. Same kind of, and an Aries um, in Venus. So, yikes. Conflict. Good. Good. Juicy. And then human design. Hmm. A generator. A six over a two. Generator six two. And I'm very proud of my path. And I would have to say yes, a hearty yes. And um, it's so nice that I'm letting people in. And just letting the sun in again. Letting light in again. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to every single person who has loved me. And, you know, I have to count my life in terms of what happened before 2012 and what happened after. But I'm always just so stunned when someone reaches in and, and says, God, I just find you magnificent. Can I just um, be your friend? And then when I find out that I'm being spoken to by someone who might actually even be as loving and magical is me, but may have things they can do. I can't. Wow. And I've had that happen to me very profoundly um, in the last four years. And I'm really, really grateful for that. And I've um, acted badly around it, and, uh, and I've acted uh, in ways that have um, been harmful around that and I've um, come to see that that's really really good too because um, I think that's been a big part of my inability to say no is that I know in especially uh, relationship and in especially in love relationships if you say no then the juice stops <laughs> and uh, yeah I'm not gonna let the juice stop I like it so um, I will uh, keep it going and drink the juice, even if it doesn't taste so good sometimes. And uh, it's hard for me to say no. It's hard for me to say no. I love love too much. I, I just, I love love too much. So, maybe I don't love it too much. Maybe that's not the problem at all. Maybe there is no problem. And maybe I am simply enjoying oh so many different varieties, depths, expressions of the one. Ha! <laughs> so, I think each and every person whether they be a fan, a reader, a viewer, a friend, a lover, a family member, a tribe member, a soul member.
if your face is flashing in my brain right now. Do you understand? There are so many people I don't think about. Never give them a second thought. Don't have to. From my heart, for this spirit, to want to have someone come closer, they automatically carry something very unique. And so I thank you. It is the um, grief you see leaking from my eyes. So, so many of the ones I find so beautiful. Don't understand how beautiful they are. I thank the ones who know. And to the ones who don't, Those are my 